Keep watching if you want to see me turn this really crap crawler into one that not only looks better, but it should perform better as well. So this is the um, HP 402, HGP 402. It's really not my favorite. I put a little clip now of me testing it out when I first got it after the unboxing. So in low gear, nothing special, quite noisy actually. Now, I mean, I'm no genius and I'm no expert, but who thinks when they build these that put in suspension like that and tires like this on a rock crawler is ever gonna work? I mean, look. <laughs> what a load of rubbish. Anyway, so in today's video, we are turning this thing into hopefully a bit of a more capable crawler. Now, however much I love this hard body, I'm gonna change the body as well. One reason is I broke the mount off the back because I'm putting this on a, another chassis, like a smaller like, road type chassis. And I've got a nice Land Rover body that I wanna put on it. So what are we gonna do to this to make it better? Well, first of all, the suspension is terrible. Not only is it just friction dampers, the really stiff springs as well. I mean, there's zero flex there. Let's give it the flex test and then we'll do the same once we've changed a few bits and pieces on it. So, I mean, straight away with one, uh, <laughs> one wheel under there, we're up. There you go. Absolutely zero flex in that. I think even if you push on it, well, yeah, you get a little bit, but rubbish. So I've got some oil shocks. These are off of an FTX. They're 100 mil shocks. I'll leave a link in the description. Probably not to these specific ones. Uh, these are just some ones I had spare, but they're 100 millimeter ones. I'll find some decent alternatives. Really cheap as well, shock absorbers. So we're gonna stick them on. And off the same FTX, I've got some uh, cheap wheels and tires. Again, I'll leave a link to uh, some 1.9 wheels and tires in the description that will uh, maybe do the job. But these are what I've got spare. So we're gonna whack the tires on, whack the shocks on, and then I will show you the body I've got for it. Luckily these come with 12 mil hexes. So most wheels, depending on the offset, should fit on. I mean, he's quite cool looking, but the tires aren't all that bad. They're just not crawler wheels, are they? So as you can see, I mean, these shocks are very slightly longer, but it won't make a difference. Um, and these ones, <laughs> ridiculous. I've not tried these, but they should be, I reckon, a um, straight swap. How about that, eh? Perfect. And straight away, I know the other side's stiff, but straight away, we've actually got suspension that works. Wheels will go straight on as well, being that it's a 12mm hex. This is gonna be a really easy um, upgrade or really easy transformation. And I've said it loads of times, I don't know why. Back that off a bit. Don't know why these RC companies don't just stick oil shocks on and put the right wheels and tires. I mean, yeah, these, like I've said, these are probably the right ones for that Jeep body, but still, not crawler. The cost to them for putting oil, I mean, at a minimum, oil shocks, the cost to them is nothing. It's gonna be like, I don't know, $5, probably less than that, just to put oil shocks on and that will make all the difference. Maybe I need to go and work for them as their advisor on what not to do. <laughs> so there we go, that took probably 
10 minutes to change all them shocks and the wheels. Let's go for the flex test. Well, there we go, there's one underneath. Two underneath and we're still on the floor there. I don't think we're gonna go three, but yeah, not quite. But there you go, definitely massive, massive improvement. Now that is better. So I think we're ready to get the body on. Um, I've just changed the connector on the ESC to an XT60 because that's what all my lipos are. Um, if you've not seen this or you didn't see the review, it's got a 540 motor. It's got a three, it says three speed, but I think it's only two, low and a high, and you have to mechanically change it there. You can get an adapter, apparently. Uh, and you mount a servo on there and you can do it by the transmitter, but I couldn't get the servo to operate from this ESC. Anyway, let's get the body on. Now I didn't have many to choose from. And this is, um, and this is a body off of a double E crawler. And the only issue I had was the wheelbase is slightly off at the back. Now, these are really good because you've got uh, three selections on the front and the rear for your wheelbase and you can also adjust the angle of your axle. So if you extend the wheelbase you can adjust the angle and the same going the other way. Really good. It is very slightly um, too short. I've elongated the holes on there, they look a bit bad at the moment, but I'm going to put a bit of vinyl over there so you won't see that. Um, and then a couple of neat little holes at the back there to hold it in, they just go into the, uh, the rear there. And I think we're ready to go out. I think the wheels are just, they're probably going to rub a little bit, but still, I think it's going to look cool. Anyway. Let's get this thing out and give it a test. So this is an area that I go to quite often, but there's been some building work recently just down the road and there's a load more uh, stuff here. So some good obstacles for this uh, means that a bit of change of scenery uh, for when I do some other stuff down here as well. Anyway, straight onto the rocks with this thing and you can see straight away massive difference to the performance with the softer shocks, the grippier tires. Um, this thing is definitely uh, performing a lot better uh, with them cheap upgrades. The wrong wheelbase, not a massive issue. You can see that rear wheel, as it's lifting up, it actually tucks really nicely um, into that rear arch, even though it's slightly offline on full extension like that. I have changed the configuration slightly on the shocks. There was some holes lower down on the chassis. So what I've done, I've increased the, increased the ground clearance which is made, again, a little bit better for uh, this sort of terrain. The only issue is it's made the steering even worse than it was the first time. So you'll be able to see um, when it's driving up here that that steering arm, the angle on it is massive. So when it is trying to turn the servo, it just can't push the wheels far enough over. So that's going to be the next thing I'm going to look for. A cheap, you can get servos for like six or seven dollars, I think, for a um, half decent servo, maybe a little bit more. So I'm going to put a better servo in, probably modify the arm or make myself an arm out of some um, like steering rods, some threaded rods. See what that does to the steering. Anyway, I'm going to let you watch the rest of this video. You can see that this thing is performing so much better. A set of oil shocks, a set of better wheels and tyres. And you've got, I'm not going to say it's um, a really good crawler, but it is so much better than how it was out of the box and the uh, the earlier um like the p402 the one that's like a g-wagon and stuff there are similar setups to this so again putting some better shocks better wheels on that uh, you're going to increase the performance and this thing looks really nice with that orange land rover body on it enjoy the rest of the video at the end there's a bit of a uh, mud montage enjoy that cheers for watching and i'll see you next time